Hi, this is TJ Muleman with Standard Co. with the beginning of what I think will turn into a series of videos that takes you from the very beginning of a data project to cleaning that data, to uploading it to a database, to then building a dashboard in Metabase with that uh, data. So we've done a whole bunch of videos. I think we're up to almost 20 uh, tutorial videos in Metabase, but we always start with a data set uh, and we're showing how to do something very specific in Metabase, but we've never really done a hey, how do I just upload data? How do I uh, uh, build a dashboard against that data and then do something meaningful with it? So I was like, hey, why don't we just do sort of a soup to nuts video? So here we are. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the data itself and we're in Google Sheets. Um, but one thing to kind of be mindful of if you're not familiar with building dashboards or working with data is you're almost always gonna start with something like Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel, or a CSV of data. That's frequently how you start. In, in our data system, it's called standard data, we actually do both. We start with uh, data sets that are already kind of been collected in, in Excel or CSV or Google Sheets, but we also have a series of tools that allow our customers to go out and collect data uh, with uh, iPhone, Android, uh, desktop uh, devices. But today we're gonna skip that part, gonna going to just focus on we've already got some data. Uh, what does it look like to clean it? What does it look like to get it ready to upload it to a data system? Uh, and then the next se series of videos will sort of walk you through how do you configure Metabase to connect uh, to your database so that you can actually then view that data? What does it look like to create a collection? What does it look like to create a dashboard? What does it look like to create alerts and uh, email subscriptions? So we'll kind of walk you through the whole thing. So hopefully this you find this useful and uh, We'll, we'll see where we go with this. Okay, so we're gonna start with this data set. This is, this is not real data, by the way, but it is a real world scenario. So we're working with a hospital uh, that wants to chart uh, admissions, uh, people who come into the emergency department. Uh, we wanna chart how many people are given what's called a PCR test. Now, before COVID, most of y'all probably were like, what, what is a PCR test? Since COVID, we all know that a, it's a kind of a test that uh, determines uh, whether or not you have a particular virus. And then the uh, positivity of that test, uh, how many people tested positive. So um, this is dummy data. Uh, so what we're looking at here is just really simple data and it charts from January 1st through December 30th. It's a year's worth of data that I've, that I've simulated. Um, and what I always like to do before I even upload it to a data system, before I start to think about about a dashboard, is I wanna get that data sort of as clean and ready as possible. So there's two primary things I do. The first is I look at the, the columns. What are the, what are the names of our data, our indicators, right? Date, this is real straightforward, real common sense. Date makes perfect sense. Admissions, how many people came in or admitted to the hospital? PCR tells me how many people were admitted a PCR test and then PCR underscore POS or positive, how many tested positive. And so these names are, you'll notice are free of spaces, are all lowercase, uh, are, are fairly succinct and kind of compact. Uh, and the reason we do that is because uh, when we're working within a data system uh, like ours at Standard Data or connected to Metabase, we want the indicator names to be fairly kind of lean and clean and, and, and self-describing. So that's the first thing we do. The second thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure the data itself is as clean as possible. Uh, now, modern data systems, you can work with all kinds of data, right? But I always found it to be really useful to kind of clean the data uh, before we load it into the data system. So that way the data system's working with as clean a data as possible. So for example, uh, the date here, this format of year, 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 month, month, date, day, um, is a really uh, well understood date format by databases. It's not gonna get confused. If you upload it like this, you can then convert it into a European style where day becomes month for month. Uh, you can do date time math fairly easily. You can show the name of the month or the number of the month. There's just a lot of things you can do with this particular format that makes it super easy. So I'm not gonna mess with that. The second thing you'll notice is that we, um, I have a bunch of calculations in here that's, that's again, I'm simulating this data. So there's a lot of uh, significant digits. Well, we're talking about the number of people, human people that were admitted. Uh, there's not 105.8488 human people. Uh, that, that number needs to be rounded. And so uh, what I always like to do is pick those columns 
and reduce the significant digits uh, down to uh, whole numbers uh, because you know we're not dealing with fractional people. Um, so now what I've done is I've created this data set, right? Uh, that is fairly straightforward, nothing kind of wild and crazy about it. It's a year's worth of data. Um, but it, again, it's just tabular data. And, and the beauty of a system like Metabase is that we can then, uh, we can format that, that data into a bar chart, a pie chart. We can do calculations like how many, what percentage of people tested positive. Um, and we're going to walk through all of that. Uh, over the next series of videos. But the next video that we're going to go through is uh, we're going to show you, I'm going to download this data and I'm going to upload it to our data system. And so we're going to show you in the next video, you want to use a data system uh, of some kind or a database. Uh, and then how do you actually connect that to Metabase? So that'll be the next video that we talk through.